Hi everyone, it's that time again where I need to give another update. Um, it's been three months since my last one and it's been a crazy three months. We've had the corona epidemic um, and it's been so scary. Um, when we first found out uh, we started to self-isolating and then we had the letters from the NHS to stay home for I think it was 12 weeks um, I was going out of my mind I was anxious I was scared I was worried um, everything my daughter was still going to school so um, I was just worried that she's gonna pick up something and then what if she brings it home I didn't know how I would feel if I was to get it because I know what I'm like when I get a cold or a flu um, so I didn't know how I would recover from maybe getting the coronavirus. Um, once my daughter was out of school, so I was quite concerned. Um, I couldn't sleep properly at night and I was reading the news all the time. Um, my husband actually went to school and spoke to him about it and we actually managed to get her out of school a couple of weeks early. And then I was like, Phew. weight lifted off my shoulder with the worry. Um, my parents have a news agents, those of you that don't know, so they're always in contact with the customers. Um, and then I was just like, I need to get them to close the shop. And I spoke to my siblings. I was like, how can we get them to close the shop early? Um, we managed to get them to close early for the first couple of weeks once we aired our concerns, but that didn't last long. Um, but yeah, you just have to stop reading the news and stop worrying because it will just drive you crazy. I was getting so stressed and so weak and my legs weren't working properly and reading the news is just a nightmare, don't do it. <laughs> I am actually, instead of doing it every hour just to find out the update, I decided to um, only read the news once in the evening and then that was it. Um, but yeah, so my stress worries have gone down now, which is great. So now that Anaya's at home, I've been kept very, very busy with the homeschooling and we do a lot of crafts and stuff as well. So it's just nice actually spending one-on-one -on -one time with her. The only issue with that is it's very difficult to fit my physio in, although I have been doing as much as I can. So um i've been actually concentrating on my legs with my physio and not so much my arms and i've kind of realized that by not concentrating on my arms i'm starting to get quite fatigued there so that's something that i need to do i mean they kind of clamp up and um the, it's the right arm and it just it's the right hand doesn't want to work properly so washing my hair and Styling my hair can be a bit of a nightmare. Luckily, I am left-handed, but um, it's still very, very hard. But I have my hubby to help me, which is great. Um, he's fantastic. So I'm still having good and bad days. My good days are great where I can walk like 200 steps. Um, I can actually manage to cook um, a meal, so like a curry or something. I can help, help hubby. I can cut some salad, which is great, but that doesn't always happen. And I do have my bad days. And my bad days is where I'm struggling to walk, uh, the hands are fatigued, I feel quite tired, and the legs just do not want to shift. I sometimes get stuck in places, and they're just, it's like your feet are stuck to the ground. Um, and then I'm like, Doms, can you get something? Or can you help me? Um, I think breathing technique is quite good as well. So I do manage to get out of myself, get myself out of sticky situations um, where the feet are stuck. Um, I've now, I now tend to wait um, three or four tries, like getting up off the chair. Um, I'll try three or four times and only then if I can't get up, I'll call arms because otherwise in the past, I can't get up off the chair and then I'm shouting for him or I'm asking him to come and help me and um, by the time he's got down and he's in the middle of doing something so it's not ideal uh, I managed to stand up and I'm like oh don't worry it's fine and um, 
yeah it's, it's not the nicest thing to do I've actually hired um, a bike it's a Motomed physio bike that I've used a couple of times when I've been in hospitals and physiotherapies um, it's the best one to help me get some movement back um, so yeah I hired it uh, about two weeks ago and it's in my front room and it's doing its job and I've been on it and I, I can do about three and a half to four miles every day um, I was doing it every day and then realized that it's too much so I'm taking it in turns between doing that um, on my bike and then the next day um, I've got a machine called Happy Leg which kind of imitates walking so you just basically sit down in your chair and you get, anyone can use it it's like being in an office and you just put it down and move your legs back and forwards and it gets those quad muscles um, moving so I'm hoping to notice a difference very soon so the past week it's been really hot weather and um, I don't know if you know about people with MS um, a lot of us suffer extreme fatigue which is kind of what's been happening with me I'm still trying to do my physio even though I know it's hot weather and it's humid but I keep cutting along and I keep trying to be positive but I do have days where I just have had enough yesterday night was one of those ones it got a bit tearful but I'm allowed days like that so we just cry a little bit and then hubby kind of makes me realize and understand that it's just the weather or you're just going for a rough patch and you're gonna feel better soon and um, yeah next day you wake up and everything's back to normal again um, so I'm glad I don't have loads and loads of those days where I'm just feeling there um, yeah just keep plodding along and getting on with things and just doing what you can and try not to get down about things not working especially when you've been doing well so, for so long so I guess not feeling great um, I'd say it's still the roller coaster ride with the good days and the bad days um, they do talk about that a lot with the stem cell treatment um, definitely is a roller coaster ride um, because you have your good days and you have your bad days and the in-between ones and you don't know what you're doing wrong but you just do what you've got to do. I am truly grateful that I have my wonderful husband who does so much for me. I'd be so lost without him. Um, he must get so frustrated. I know he gets very frustrated. I can see it on his face sometimes and I don't blame him. Um, I just, God, no amount of words. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try this one again without crying. I am so grateful for my husband and my daughter. They are my rock. Um, they do so much for me. My husband is constantly having to help me out and do everything in the house. He looks after me. He looks after Naya. He's always fetching things and getting things. And for me... For me to go and get something can take me five minutes. For Dams or Anaya to go, it takes them less than a minute. And for me, it's just that extra effort. And when I'm really fatigued, I just can't do it. And I think that's been the problem this month is that it's been so hot and humid that I can't do the things that I want to do. So having said that, um, hubby and my daughter, bless them they are my rock they are my world and without them it would not be possible to carry on with what goes on in my life um hi mommy hi gorgeous this is my daughter this is anaya none of you have met her yet this is my baby she helps me so much don't you yeah you help mommy you do Oh, she's my little sweetie. And we've been doing lots of homework. And she's been very good. I'm glad you met her. She's amazing. Um, yeah, she picks my feet up in bed sometimes when I get a bit stuck and I can't get in. Or 
she goes and fetches things for me and oh, she's just really really caring don't get me wrong she does get annoyed at times and she does outright say no i'm not doing it but most of the time she does do it of course you can be in my video you want to sit here okay so um talking about the stem cell treatment and whether i think it's worked um i'm not sure yet i think it's too early to tell i've got this is what 19 months now and i think it's going to be still a long road to recovery i'm going to keep plodding along and i'm going to keep gonna do what i do and do my physios and i know this little madam does get annoyed and mommy you're always doing physio you're always busy but um yeah, I do try and give you a little bit of time, don't I? We should have to put the chalk in my hair. Well, yeah, we'll do the chalk in a little while. So my motto is just to plod along, keep doing what I'm doing, stay positive, and hopefully there will be some great outcome that comes out of this. Um, and if not, then I know it hasn't worked. And if I don't get any worse, that's a bonus. But if I do then it's like any other medication that I've tried which has made me feel worse um, you just got to do it you try everything uh, MS is one of those horrible diseases it just takes over your life there's one of these things that I want to get so I'm thinking about getting a tattoo uh, my blood group is B positive and I think I'm quite positive so I'm thinking about getting a B and something along the lines of a B positive or um, to get an orange butterfly um, with MS Warrior or something like that. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've got nothing to say. Oh, I do have something. I've started origami. Um, I needed something to do in my spare time to get my fingers moving and stop me from actually going out of my mind and doing nothing. Um, so yeah, I started making flowers and stuff like that, which I will have to show you. Actually, I have them here with me. I just remembered. So they're a lot of fun, but they uh, are time consuming. But these are my little beauties that I make. Um, so I'm hoping to put some sticks on them and put some diamantes in the middle and then maybe try and sell them, make some money and buy my daughter some gifts. You want to come and say goodbye? Yeah. Come on in. Bye-bye. Hang on, wait. Anyway, we're going to love you and leave you. My little monkey's come to say goodbye. Bye. Say bye. Bye, everybody. And we will do another update soon, okay? All right, bye.